Welcome back to Corvette the American Dream. For all of us who love Corvettes, at some point or another, you need to buy one or you need to sell one. And today we've got with us Keith Coronet from VetBinders.com, and he is the internet destination for buying and selling Corvettes online. Keith, tell me about what your service is and how it works. Well, Mike, we have about 500 Corvettes for sale at any one time. Our ads are broken out by individuals and dealerships, and our dealers include Chevy Corvette dealers, right. and we also have the classic Corvette dealers. So everything from 53 to 2003, you're going to find it on VetFinders.com. Now, how does one go about submitting an ad for a car, a Corvette, to your website? How does that work? Well, it's real easy. Actually, we say it's as easy as one, two, three. You come online, you'll see sell your Corvette, you give us your contact information, you give us information about your car, like the year, horsepower, engine size, colors, and then you have a full description field. So if you want to talk about any restoration, any uh, new parts added, uh, that's available as well. And then you can upload as many photos of your car as you'd like as well. Our ads are $25. They run for 90 days, and uh, the exposure is great. We have generally about 4,000 people coming through at one time every day. And I've looked at your site, and the one thing that I find that's interesting is it's very searchable. If I live in Texas, I can kind of find out who's got a car in my area, or if I want to find a particular year. Tell me some more about the searches, because that's really a good way to go. Yeah, it's really something that we focused on. You With 500 cars for sale, obviously you're looking for something particular. Right. You can search by state, you can search by car. Let's say you're looking for a 67 coupe. You can search by body styles. Uh, we can also do keyword searches on colors, on options, as well as pricing. So if you're looking for a car under $10,000 or uh, between twenty-five dollars and $30,000, uh, the search will pull up just those ads that have right. that information. And tell me, I know that uh, if you want to buy or sell a car, you've got the site, but you also take parts too. Absolutely. We have a, uh, because, you know, as you have a Corvette, obviously you need parts sometimes, or you've added car, or you've added parts, so you want to sell old parts that are cluttering up the garage. Uh, right now we're actually offering free parts ads, and again, you just come in, give us your contact information, list the information about the parts, you can upload photos of the parts, and uh, they're there for everybody to see. Now, something else that uh, I find interesting about your site is uh, it's user-friendly. And to me, that means that, yes, you've got a website, but if you don't have a picture or you're not sure about a picture, uh, we can contact you by phone or by email and figure out how can we get the picture on the line, how can we get the information, how do I go about doing all this rather than being frustrated by not being able to necessarily do this by email. Absolutely. Uh, we find a lot of the Corvette users that come to our website, some are very computer literate and some have a lot of trouble with the computer. They're new to it. Yeah, absolutely. So we offer an 877 number. Uh, people can call us, they can email us. We have contact forms for help online. Uh, say someone's got a car they want to sell, but they don't have a digital camera or a scanner. Uh, they can just mail us the photos. We'll scan them for them at no charge and put them online. So uh, customer service is actually something that we, we definitely strive for. Uh, in terms of the user friendliness of the website, with 500 cars for sale, one of the things that we had to do was come up with a structure that would make it easy to search those cars. So we break all of our ads down by generation, you know, C1s through C5s, right. and then they're all ranked by year within that generation. So if you're looking for a 76 uh, coupe, it's really easy to find. You just go to the C3s, scroll down until you get to the 1976s, and there you go. Now something else that I find helpful is you've got an annual price guide. And that's a good way for people like me or our viewers to go and figure out how much can I sell my Corvette for? Tell me a little bit about how you do the price guide. Yeah, absolutely. The price guide comes from data collected from Vet Investments, and that's Bob Krupa, who also writes the On the Block column for Corvette Fever. And the price guide is unique because uh, at each year he monitors the number of Corvettes for sale. So let's say he saw in a given year uh, 100 1988 Corvettes for sale. Um, he saw them sell, he saw the price, uh, and from that we get a high, a low, and an average uh, from actual sales of that particular car and that particular body style, whether mm -hmm. it be coupe, convertible, or hardtop. So the, it's not just somebody sitting back saying, oh, you know, that 67 big block, you know, last year it was this, so this year we've got to bump it up a little bit. It's mm -hmm. actually based on sales. And the price guide is one of the unique features of VetFinders, as we're the only Corvette classified ads company that does publish its own price guide. Now, unique to your company, or maybe it's not unique, I'm not really sure, but you guys have something that is really, really interesting. You also have feature stories about Corvettes and stories about uh, Corvetting in general. Absolutely. Uh, 
as we were putting together the website, we realized that we were hitting, we concentrate on buying and selling. Right. But there's also the lifestyle aspect of it. And we didn't want to go too far into the lifestyle, but we wanted to be able to offer information and features for those people that already have Corvettes and just love the hobby. So we offer a technical series. Mm -hmm. um, currently, right now, we're doing a frame-off restoration of a 79 Coupe. And our users can come through the website. They can offer suggestions. In fact, we had a problem. We couldn't get the trailing arm off because of a rusted bolt. Mm -hmm. And uh, so some of the users suggested ways to, to remove that bolt. Uh, we also offer uh, news stories. Uh, uh, we offer Corvette stories from owners. And these are generally how I found my first Corvette or how the hobby became so important in my life. What about online appraisals? I know you do that. Yeah, our online appraisals are designed more for financing, insurance, and really the peace of mind of knowing, am I going to get the value of my car uh, if I decide that I am going to sell it? So if you've had a car for 10 years and you bought it for $20,000, it might be worth 35000 today. So you want to make sure that you know that price is based on the current market. Now, we have an online questionnaire that's fairly extensive mm -hmm. that goes through the different parts of the car and the quality and any restoration that's been done. And from there, that information goes to one of our experts that can review it based on the current market conditions and then come back with a price for you. So, like I said, it's really great for you know financing. Banks might require some mm -hmm. information about the car. Uh, insurance, uh, if you do like classic car insurance or even uh, State Farm or Nationwide, it's been used for. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really a, a nice service and it's a service that because it's all done online, it's uh, cheaper than the guy that's going to come out, get under the hood of the car, kick the tires and do all that stuff for you. Now, in addition, you also have some online parts and pieces that you can buy. Tell me about that. I think you call it the online store? Yeah, we have an online store and it's mostly uh, shirts and hats and keychains and gift items. Uh, great for the you know the dads that have the Corvettes and you're looking for you know a shirt or hat for Father's right. Day or for Christmas gifts or for the new Corvette owner we see that a lot of times someone mm -hmm. will come in they'll find a Corvette and then they'll come back the next day and order a couple shirts for themselves and maybe some chairs or some keychains so okay great everybody if you're looking for a really great place to buy and sell your Corvette or maybe you just want to get rid of some used parts be sure and check out VetFinders.com a great place to buy and sell Corvettes online.